Hey developers, this is Jamrin guys. So fifth tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about simplest way of creating list view. This will be simple one page app with list view as a main control on the page as well as view. We will be demonstrating how to make simple MBBM binding in list view. So without wasting our time, let's create a new project by going to file new project and then selecting across platform and giving name as my list view. And I'll be selecting shared project since I'll be using Xamarin Live Player. You can select a portable project also. Click on OK then. Since it is a cross platform app, we'll be taking our main root project that is my list view regarding taking our Android SLS iOS project. This is best way for creating a list view since we are using model view view model binding. So we will create three folders as model view view model by clicking on add and then click on folder and my data source will talk about that in order to save my time i'll show you how i created a simple fast list view i'll request everybody to follow me in the model folder i'll add human.cs class and in this tutorial we'll be talking about grouping and separating the humans by origin my human.cs class look like this as you can see i have very simple class with three properties id human name as well as human origin which will be a property for our grouping after that we'll go to our view folder and create a new xaml page by going to add new item and then selecting xamarin form and select content page and give it a name as human page it will create a two root project as human page dot xaml as well as human page dot xaml dot code behind this is our simple human page dot xaml page in this page we'll be implementing a single list view with two properties in item they are our name and origin i request everybody to copy down the code after designing our very simple XAML layout, in our code behind, we will set binding context to the human view model.cs, which we will create inside of view model folder. Before we implement our view model, I will create new class called mydata1.cs inside my data source folder. By going to add new class, then Click on class and give same name as mydata1.cs and click on add. Mydata1.cs in my data source folder, it will have public list of humans with some items in it. This class will be our data source which we will use in this tutorial. These are all my list views items. This class holds human's ID, name, as well as their origin. Now let's create a new view model by going to folder, click on add, and then select class. Then we should select our class and then give same name as human view model dot cs and click on add. After that inside our human view model we will have our observable collection of type human and I put some data in it at the constructor of the view model. This tutorial is just demonstration with binding to all items implementing MBVM and if I run my app I will get this kind of result. Now let's run our iOS project whether it gets compiled or not. Okay it is pairing. Okay, I like it. Okay, I, we got our expected list view. Now let us run our Android project. Now I'll change my startup project as Android project. It should show me my physical device as Samsung GT N700. And I'll select that. And I'm reflecting using visor now. As started deploying as well as building it started deploying Samsung GT7 and 700 it's my physical device 
okay build get succeeded as well as deploy get succeeded now i should get my expected list view okay i got it where i have categorized human with their origin that's all for now thank you developers keep in touch